Get ready to release yourself from the inverted matrix. Right? Get ready. That's what I've been teaching for the last seven years, how to walk your most organic timeline, how to find what's attached to you. So I'm really, um, I'm, I am a channeler, I'm a remote viewer, but I also really bring the science into it as well. So that's what I love, right? Um, science and spirituality was never meant to be separated. It's one and the same. So what a joy. I am going to go as fast as I can, but it's quite a presentation to transform your soul, your mind, body, and soul, how to do that in your everyday life and how to become an alchemist. So in case you don't know who I am, I am known as a spiritual revolutionist. Um, I am also an author and um, my beautiful friend and colleague, Laura Eisenhower, is right there and she's gonna speak tomorrow. So if you're not gonna come, if you make sure you come tomorrow and come hear her speech. She's incredible, speaks all over earth. Uh, I just love her with all that I am. Um, so thank you, thank you, Laura, for allowing for me to come. Um, but yes, so we're sharing a table. Go get a reading with her and come get a reading with me. Um, but yes. So let's get started. So you see the crystalline chrysalis pods. Now this matrix presentation is my first time debuting it publicly because I've hosted workshops countless. I've worked with 4,000 people over in the last um, six, six years. 4,000 people, one-on-one sessions, uh, which is on the founder of Aura Hypnosis. I also have books, you wanna look into that and how to remove yourself from the inverted matrix and how to walk your most organic path, how to really become your ascended master. You are the ascended master. But it starts off with realizing that you are in a simulation, in a matrix, you are. So you have to embody your higher self form. But you can't do that until you get rid of what's attached, which is a lot of what I do is entity attached, the past life trauma. So it is incredible. So we, when we come in, we, we come in, we have a, in order to come into this space, we were 5D, right? Okay, so, but now we're 3D. That process was immense in the ways that, unfortunately, the trauma was given here on Earth to the humanity. So what happened is all this trauma, all these resets, we lowered the density. We went from a 5D to a 4D, and then a 3D. When that happened is it became a third dimensional construct, which means that we are going to, in, going to be in physical form. That's the only way. So all three dimensional planets in existence are physical form, okay? All the other ones outside of the 3D, you are out of the matrix. So in order to create this beautiful planet, we are the only, one of the only planets besides other Earths as well, parallel Earths. That's what I am. I'm a galactic historian as well, and I'm a remote viewer, and check me out, guys. I channel Nikola Tesla. It's just incredible, the content that we speak, guys. Get ready, too, when you start it. Um, you're just going to evolve. Evolve immensely. So, um, this Earth is a multitude of different races. Flowers, right? Trees, humans, all of us. We're also gorgeous and beautiful. Different shades of skin, right? But the truth is that we're this infinite soul. So it's the only Earth that can have a multitude of different races because it is a simulation. We call it a simulation now, but it wasn't before. You guys heard of Dolores Cannon? Yes. Yeah? Well, Dolores Cannon taught us how, you know, it's just like a vacation, a, a place that you come and enter. So Divine Mother Sophia, the creator's source, created a space where you could put you can place all these different races into one space because you can't normally do that. You can't because in one planet, they might eat the grass. In the other planet, they maybe lay on the grass to recharge their energy. So you can't do that because every race and every planet is created with its own ecosystem and its own construct. So you can't put typically multi-races into one planet um, only here and these other Earths that have this construct, you understand? So that's why we see the beauty. We see the thousands of flowers, the, thousands of uh, tree lives and so on because we are literally the multiverse in one planet. Think about that for a minute. We are the multiverse, you all. Every bit of this multiverse is, the, every bit of it is speaking to us. Every way we walk, we see this tree, this other tree, this flower, it's all speaking to us. The sun, the sun is how we portal in. So just to give you an understanding of this earth and how incredible that is, 
So when we come in, we do have a crystalline pod, just like this, like a chrysalis. You see that? So that was originally. Divine Mother, Divine Father, they created, that's why they call it like, you know, the matrix of simulation, okay? So this, but this is crystalline. It doesn't have any of that, like the matrix movie, you know, with the wires, because that's why I teach people how to like unplug yourself from the matrix, okay? But you do it through your consciousness because you are that incredible. You are that incredible. So um, in order to come in, you come in and you, somehow you say download into this crystalline pod. And then once you enter in, everything's happening in your consciousness. This whole experience, we collectively and individually are creating it. That's why you are the creator. That's why you are the, you're the ascended master because you are, it's happening here, the universe, the multiverse right here in your brain. And I'm gonna be talking about the brain and how that works later on. So make sure you stay here, guys. It's an incredible um, time we're gonna have here. Um, so what happens is that when we ascend out, after once we ascend out, we do become the butterfly. We say, shift out of the chrysalis and ascend out to wherever we're gonna go. But what happened was that we densified, right? Back to the 5D to the 3D. But with that, so this is, this is part of the matrix presentation. The way we densified was that The cerebellum here, this, this is your tree. Okay, when you understand that the cerebellum is so important, this is how you start removing yourself from the matrix right here.
be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.